Okay, media production number two. What am I going to talk about? Hmm, how about cyborgs? We are all cyborgs. We can talk about uh, Halloway and what she thinks. The cyborgs. No, no, not cyborgs. Science fiction. Yeah, sci-fi. Uh, may the force be with you. Uh, not that. I know. Uh, Heidegger. Yeah, I can show off and show my intellect to Heidegger. What am I thinking? I don't know anything about Heidegger. Hmm, what could I do? How about Linux? Ah, Linux. Okay, where to start now? I'm going to introduce this. Hmm. You know, I, I could start by talking about the, the creator. Uh, what was his name? Linus, Linus Torvalds. He, he created uh, Linux to be uh, an operating system for uh, you know something similar to Mac or, or PC. Or I could talk about Richard, uh, Richard Stallman. He's kind of an interesting hippie looking kind of guy and he he's all about uh, free software rather than open software. Maybe the best thing I could do is uh, show a little commercial, a little infomercial about uh, what Linux is uh, all about. Move it over any of the icons, a little menu pops up that tells me exactly what that icon is. If we go over to the far left side and we click on the K menu, that's just like the Windows menu. Look at that. All of our applications are available to us here. And so if you're comfortable in the Windows or in the Mac environment, you're going to very quickly be comfortable in the Linux environment. There's going to be a few cases where you kind of scratch your head for a few seconds, but you'll figure it out. It'll all make sense pretty quickly. Okay, so then after that commercial, I should probably talk about some of the advantages of uh, Linux. Well, I guess, I mean, first of all, it's free. So cost is, uh, you know, very attractive. Not only is the operating system free, but it comes bundled with a whole bunch of different software that's uh, really usable. Maybe I should uh, go back to that infomercial to explain uh, that. The cool part. thing about Linux, being free, is all of the different things that they include with the installation here and all the other applications that we want to download are also free but this is the basic starter set take a look here there's graphics applications for photo editing then scanning the internet applications for file transfer there's thunderbird for email there's firefox there are multimedia applications for burning cds and dvds and playing music files and playing video the office environment includes the full open office which includes presentation software and spreadsheets and word processors we'll be looking at that in our next show and then all of our there are no drivers so uh, Vista and all its problems with drivers uh, for printers and stuff like that that doesn't exist there's less maintenance on it uh, you don't have to defrag the disk uh, you know it tends to run and run and run and that's why servers are usually made from Linux it's very secure because the hackers are gonna target PCs rather than Linux just because of sheer numbers it's environmentally friendly. I guess I could talk about how you know when you buy a piece of software, it usually comes in a large box that you just end up recycling and throwing away. Whereas Linux software, you just download from the internet. And if you do need some tech support or you have some ideas about Linux, there's a large uh, online community that you can be part of and uh, join in the sharing of ideas. So then I should talk about why we should use Linux in uh, education. Well, let's see. It seems to me the probably the, well one of the biggest arguments is the cost, given that it's free. Another one would be security. You know, I've already mentioned how you know it's less likely to be prone to attack. You don't have these n annoying salesmen coming around trying to sell you on the latest and greatest product. And you also don't have uh, something called vendor lock-in. Um, vendor lock-in, well, hmm. You know what, maybe I'll look for a video to explain what vendor lock-in is. Here's a diagram that was created a couple of years ago by a friend of mine, and it represents my local network. Now, I've changed my network in the last couple of years, and I'd like to update this diagram. But in order to do that, because the file format is not open, it's a closed format, I would need to go and buy a copy of the program, Visio, and buy a copy of the operating system it runs on, Windows, in order to make changes to this file, because the format is closed. And that's what we call vendor lock-in. I'm locked to using that vendor for that software. 
computers that run Linux will last longer because Linux doesn't demand as much from their computers. I mean, nowadays you have to have a computer that run, has 4 gigs of memory to, to run most pieces of software or, or devices off of it. With Linux, you can modify the code. Uh, you can't do that with XP or with Vista or with even with Mac. You can modify the code to make it to do what it is that you need to do. It gives you way more choice and more freedom. As educators, we're always trying to teach kids to, to work uh, collaboratively and to work in teams. Uh, Linux does this. It, it, it models this. And uh, it's a great platform to allow kids to work together. It's ethical. It teaches kids to share rather than pursuing the almighty dollar. And it eliminates the digital divide. It levels the playing field and allows those that can't afford computers and technology the ability to afford computer technology. Linux, I like it. Hello, I'm a Mac. I'm a PC. And I'm Linux. Well, well, fancy pants. New outfits, huh? I figured I'd give myself a new look. I call this Vista Leopard. Oh, thank you. Ooh, it's nicely. Uh, what, what's that? I keep up with the latest trends. And people just share that stuff with you? All the time. Wish I had a jacket like that. I might work on you. I'll probably wear this for another six or seven years. Vinyl? Leather. Nice.